Alright. Time for next video. Today I will be doing another Escape from Low Low series because recently those videos have been doing very well with a lot of positive comments on it. People wanting to see more. So what I initially planned, I'll expand on a bit. Uh, doing a few more here as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a lot of people have been asking for it, so I might as well. Uh, Warwick being one of them. Warwick is one of those champs where I didn't initially do him. And the reason for that is, like, his clear, th like, is not particularly great. Until you do actually get, like, an item for it. Um, so it's not, like, as straightforward i guess you're gonna have to adapt a little bit in the early game which we're gonna try some stuff here i'm against a volley with presti attack though so i do have to be a little careful on that one yeah because uh, volley can be a very scary champ to one v one with a presti attack on like level three or something uh, but our goal here is just gonna kind of see if we can go like maybe early top because the cannon is most likely gonna shove that in and yeah well the uh, start here, you want to start with W, because with a leash, it's going to get pushed below the threshold for your W to give you an attack speed increase, which is actually going to make it faster than Q. And also because of this reason, like smiting camps early on the Warwick can be very beneficial to speed up your jungle clear. Obviously, you want to be careful with that. If you do uh, invade somebody for a camp or if you get invaded for a camp, you're going to have to really think about like not smiting that fast, because you're going to have to uh, deal with that. If the enemy team shows up, that would be a problem. See here, we take all of our skills now. We'll go for red here, and then we could potentially start looking aggressive. It's actually interesting how Orn is currently pushing in my cannon, so that's uh, that could be a little. Yeah, no, I don't know. It's also getting pushed in. If I can get a double prio here, though, like I can easily go and invade this uh, volley's top side. But that is definitely something I could be looking for here. Just trying to play a bit aggressive, right? Like, if you have a gank opportunity when they're positioned between these bushes and the wall, or, like, mid lane up here, then you can go for that. But in this case, like, uh... Okay. Walk down this way. Should have enough prio for this to be fine. Wow, he actually got that? Really? I might lose now. I am Warwick though, so we're just gonna. I, think, I guess we're just gonna flip it. Gotta keep auto attacking him. There we go. Benefit of Warwick. Just auto attack him, man. <laughs> War oh, Jet could rotate here, would he? Probably not, right? He actually got the uh, smite uh, win on me, which was quite nice for him. Okay. Zed is missing out of lane, so we're gonna have to be slightly careful. Let's hit the plant. That's back in lane, we're good. Very nice. Yeah, we had double prio there uh, on both top and mid lane. And yeah, you kind of want to do something af after like clearing your red like that. So I just went for the easiest opportunity with a volley invade. I, uh, Warwick is just one of those champs that pretty much wins everything. The only thing that can hurt Warwick a lot is getting kited. So if you're facing, if you're doing this against like a kindred, okay, this guy's going to make a mistake soon. I'm going to keep my eye out here because we saw a volley very recently in the in about that bush area. So if there is something going to go on, I will be able to react. There is the volley. Damage reduction is E. Not going to matter. Slowed me too much. I'm just going to take a recall now because the one item I want here on the first recall I got is very nice. And I can use the move speed there from the blood hunt that I get um, to get out of base faster as well, which is really nice too. If you, if you get, like, a blood hunter, you can, like, kind of recall with that. That will be very beneficial for you as well. As you can see, I'm gaining a lot of move speed out of base now. So I'm getting a bunch of tempo towards bot scuttle. And we see the bot lane wave position very good for us here. So we can use this to our advantage right now. To just sprint at the Tom Kench. Ah, this is warded. It's that unfortunate. I'm just going to take bot scuttle. Mid lane does still have the blood hunt on it, so I could look for something potentially. Keeping my eye out. I want to play aggressive into this guy here as well. So oh, there he is. Perfect. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. Pretty tough without six to just get him like that. This guy went to do his wolves. Okay, that's fine. 
We're gonna check the rest of his bot side camps here. This camp could be up, potentially. But also, this is gonna get, get us a gank angle from behind here, which could be good still as well. Oh. Damage reduction here. Dude, where is my... I got ignited. What is my Lux doing? Okay, well, I guess that's my bad. I got completely pincered and I was not expecting my uh, my team to not be able to help me there whatsoever. That's my bad, I suppose. Went up a little too far, got pincered and died. Uh, okay, fair play. Yeah, he actually caught me straight on that rotation. Uh, well, I'm just gonna sprint bolt because this guy's low HP and I'm gonna have to cover for my Zeri so she doesn't get dove here. It's okay. I mean, it's a bad position on my end this, in this side, so it's fine. But I'm gonna run straight at this guy because he is doing the Warwick thing where you can just run at people and they make a mistake. This is like one of those, those things that's gonna happen very frequently in this elo bracket where people will just make that mistake. I, I thought I queued through that. Really? I mean, I still have the... There we go. I still have my uh, Blood Hunt completely stacked up, so he's gonna have a trouble anyway, but... Alright, time to play for the objective now. I do have all my camps up, but this is just a prime situation where your Blood Hunt pretty much always takes priority. I prefer it if my Zeri just helps with Dragon. I mean, okay. I, at least Lux is helping. That is very, that's definitely something. As long as it gets below the halfway point for the Blood Hunt to start kicking in, I should be fine. I'm also, after this, gonna have to, like, loop to prioritize getting level 6. Mid lane is definitely a target. He is sticking around against the Warwick, which is really good for me. I can abuse this because Warwick's move speed, as you can see here, is pretty criminal. I don't know if that's gonna work. Nope, didn't work. That's fine, I think, because this way we, we trade one for one, which is not the best, I suppose. But also this guy gets a colossal advantage on his wave. Now, if he holds this correctly, which he didn't. Uh, well, I mean, this is just a nice steel caps game. It's fine. If he held that wave correctly there, that would have been really good for him because he could have frozen it right here. And that would have cost this guy like two or three waves. Which, and then would have also allowed me for another gank opportunity. Mm, it's unlikely to get that one, to be honest. I think I would definitely wasted my ultimate. It was a uh, futile attempt to escape that turret aggro there. Okay, this guy is just over committing now, so this is just a blood hunt act. Oh, this is even better because he just wasted that thing. Hold my Q here. Wait, I timed that correctly, didn't I? I? I still have the Blood Hunt. He's never gonna escape me, but... I could have sworn I timed my Q correctly there to dash through. I'm going to push the wave out so I can do the Herald. Objective takes priority. I mean, I'm just getting Blood Hunt targets, right? Like, the more Blood Hunt targets you get, the better it is gonna be for your gank angles. And you can farm but in between that situation. There will be games where they'll be very frequent. All the games where that not, will not be very frequent and your blood hunt targets are just gonna go like popping off which in this case i am getting those blood hunt targets absolutely to the maximum because people are disrespecting me quite a bit but it makes things pretty easy you see look this guy very nice we actually hit that one Whew, very beautiful this also transitions straight into a mid turret I, you have to make sure you don't use your herald straight ahead, straight up right now. I have to get it like to about here, so it'll hit the last two plates. Because this will hit two plates off the turret, basically. And the, the turret plates get tankier and tankier, so you want to be very careful with when you use it. I'm going this herald here. You can see, like, it takes about that. And now we should be able to finish off this turret. It's going to get... It looked 500-500 here. It's very tanky. But it should still be fine. I should have probably used it even slightly later here. This Yasuo just absolutely trolled that one. <laughs> Yasuo did nothing. Oh, <laughs> uh, whatever. 
If Yasuo had just auto attack cute that, it would have been completely fine. I have to be very respectful here because I don't know where Aphelios is. My, uh, my Yone or Yasuo, sorry, is very low on health. He does have teleport on Orn, so in 8 seconds it should be fine. I really want to clear my bot side jungle half at least here. Oh, someone else took it. Fair play. Yeah, okay. I got punished for, uh, I guess. I punished for taking a bunch of mid stuff. It's okay. Or like maybe Herald or whatever. It's all good. Uh, this is going to respawn, so I'll still take this. He is sticking mid, but this guy's behind him. So there's no real point in going for this Bloodhound passive in this case. Also, I have quite a lot of gold. We're looking very good. Uh, basically, 7k KP here, but all of this has been Bloodhound uh, blood passive things. Just running people down when they get low. And I have way too much gold to consider going bot lane there, so I won't. I'm just going to do... Wait, no, I'm not... Eh. I shouldn't do this, actually. I need to do it other way around. Play the Druin King first. It's going to be a bit more effective. It's not as strong right now, but going Blade into then Titanic after is going to be better, especially against a team like this, I think. They're pretty durable. It's basically you're going to go Blade of the Rune King Titanic as your first two items. What I generally like to do is just go Tiamat into the Blade of the Rune King and then finish Titanic. Because Blade of the Rune King early, especially with going lethal tempo, is very, very strong. I have a dragon in 20 seconds. I'm gonna have to run top here. This Bloodhound passive should activate very soon as long as Orn hits him. I should be able to get him here. I did get him, but my entire bot side died apparently. gonna matter nothing at all it's i can't make it to dragon my entire bot lane died anyway my entire team oh this is all down okay fair play uh my entire team just died there i mean i guess i could have ran down but cannon was like basically the same type of kill anyway so i don't know xw first here put my w here just chase this man down oh my god the flesh and everything eh boom that dude I did not mean to press my E for the second time there. That was a misclick. Hopefully that doesn't cost me. Doesn't cost me. Cool. I used my blood hunt. I activated my blood hunt there to actually get the blood hunt towards the Z. Uh, so I can um, actually catch him when he's like higher HP. This activates passively when they're low health, but you can activate it yourself to get them on a little bit higher HP for the extra move speed increase, which worked there. I really have to keep my tempo up a bit on clearing these camps right now. They did get that dragon, which is fine. I got the first dragon, so it's not that big of a threat. The big thing I want to look for here is in this like one minute, I want to have this uh, Rift Herald. I definitely want to go for that. I'm going to clear this camp, then recall, and then I can take the red buff off that. So I'll have my red buff for longer. I'll be very strong and I can maybe blood hunt towards like a top end play or something like that. And then play for the Herald on spawn, which is going to be really good because I can use that to potentially break a bunch of turrets. They get the blade here and we're going to go for the Titanic next. Beautiful. We're getting very strong now. So we're going to go Titanic next and then we're going to go Jokcho. To uh, basically become very, very immortal, very hard to kill. Especially for their team, to be honest. Like, they're going to struggle a bit. We are a full AD comp tech. I mean, I have a, a lot of hybrid damage. Okay. I feel like I should do the red buff first here because it's going to make me much stronger in this fight situation. I just don't know how much time I have. I have a little bit of time before that wave hits. I will move, I'll be moving for sure. I want him to dive the Orn. I really want him to go for this dive. Activate my blood hunt there. Should be fine here and i should just be able to attack this to death oh well i guess i couldn't i shouldn't have ulted there because the uh, the Asa, oh i didn't see him i'm gonna be honest i straight up didn't see him i thought he was going to be able to get away and i didn't want zed to get like any of his skills back to be able to dash or anything so i just ulted i mean it's not that bad of a cooldown for me but yeah i just didn't see the Yasuo. I mean, definitely giving the Yasuo like a kill or something would be good. I would definitely take the Herald over that turret right now. 
Because this is a prime target for me to get the Herald opportunity. So I will absolutely take this. It's going to be worth way more for me right now. If it was like third platings there that I could finish off, then that would be a slightly different story. But for me right now, this just takes priority. Getting a good opportunity to Herald is always good. Yasuo is dead. I might be able to go for Cannon here. Oh, Orn TP'd bolt lane. Interesting. Gonna have to charge bolt with his blood hunt as soon as, as fast as possible right now, basically. I'm gonna get a lot of move speed towards this. I just need to get there. This is a good thing about Warwick. Like, even if you're not that close, you're gonna walk at them super fast. Clear him there. He should be able to get CC'd quite a lot. There's someone walking here. Like, you can see the blood hunt. You can see exactly where they are, which makes things very easy for you for the most part. I want to herald this. I'm just going to take herald to get, like, this, and then I can bounce into the next turret as well. If I can bounce this into this turret, which should be possible here, it's going to open up, like, two turrets for us, which is good. Hello, build. I just need this to get one bounce. That's all I really care about. There he goes. Just held, held my ultimate for a prime opportunity. God, I'm dead here, I think. Not dead yet. I'm gonna use my damage reduction at the right time. If I want to do something. I still got the bounce, so I'm quite happy about that. I was waiting with my damage reduction until Zed maybe um, actually used his W or something. Because I know for this range, it was never going to kill. Like, one shuriken was never going to kill. So I didn't have to use my E for that, it's just a uh, realization of when his main damage was going to come in. And if he was going to like Shadow W, then I would have clicked it. At this, and then we'll build into the Jock Show, as I said. I have to go for this Dragon. I need to make sure I'm on top of these objectives as much as possible. I am currently very strong. Finishing off my Jock Show is going to make me extremely difficult to kill. The reason I like Jock Show the most on Warwick, by the way, as well, is because the, um, the resistance as it gives you especially later on uh, combining with other items, it's going to be really good on low HP Warwick, because then you're going to be super threatening on that HP while being extremely hard to kill. I prefer that more over like going Divine Sunder for a bit of extra damage, because it just powers you up a lot more, as you can play low HP Warwick for longer, which is very strong, obviously. Like, low HP Warwick is really strong. They're getting collapsed on top lane. Okay. Now, let's just take a couple camps here. There's currently no major objective up, and this is not a play I can really get to, I don't think. Like, that's far right there. Even with Blood Hunt, that's far. If they had a turret here, I would consider running up there, because it could be fast enough, if you know what I mean. Because then they have to walk a little bit, but they have to walk the turret instead of all the way back here, and I don't think that was going to happen. Let me see here. This is good because I'm getting Blood Hunt up here, but this guy is also greeting for the push. I'm gonna go for the Tom. This guy's just free. There he goes. Land a nice ult situation for myself. And he's dead. Just be, be mindful with your ult, right? Like, try to hit it as best as you can, of course, but. I'm going to have to defend mid here. I'm not going to allow them to push anything here. I'm just going to defend this real quick. Hold this wave and we should be good. I can clean this camp up and I take red buff here. Baron's in like 20 seconds. I'm going to have a pretty strong recall here as well going into the Juck Show. Really gonna have to hold people's hand here, though. I will. I will say, gonna have to be the case. Okay, he's greeting for turret. This is good for me. Give me the Q range. Ah, and I was trying to hold Q there to, to cheese him out of that one, but he was made. He made it to the wall. I'm gonna take my recall here, though. I have two thousand gold, so there's no point in staying. Two thousand gold staying around is pretty bad. Would not recommend. 
Uh, I went for the um, Jock Show, and a really, really good tank item combo with Jock Show is Stone Plate, as it gives the double resist, which stacks with a, a resist increase from this plus double resist, and it also stacks with this. So it is a really, really good combination. We're just gonna chase this down. Use my ult to close the distance there, because that's all that matters. I was thinking he was going to hop the wall there, but he didn't. And blood hunted. Oh. Pretty good dodge is there from the Jinx. Not bad. He's going to go back, which is fine. I don't want to take this kill at all if I don't if I can avoid it. But it doesn't I don't know if I can actually avoid it. I'm it doesn't look like it. I'll just have to finish him off. Man. <laughs> what is happening? Please hit him. He missed. Dude, really? Oh, my team is dying. He's not gonna get the scuttle from me, that's not happening. They fight me. Damage reduction when they engage on me and I'm just gonna start hitting him. Don't miss your snare, please. Thank you. Can I, like... Please, man. What the? Just, <laughs> my God. I cannot close the distance on those people. Holy moly. Uh, she didn't land her snare. But like, I'm getting kited. I'm so sad. It should be good enough. I think he's dead here. Yep, goodbye. He greeted. 50 seconds on Dragon. I'll take whatever camps I can here. Ooh, this could be a good situation for me. I don't think I have to be too afraid here. Because what are they going to do against me? Pretty much nothing. Oh, he missed this thingy. That sucks. He would have hit that, this guy would have died. Which meant we would have gotten the Dragon for absolutely free. That would have been a big hit on the ult there. Yeah, fair enough. You have to remember here, I also have my damage reduction for my E alongside the tankiness from this. So I'm going to have damage reduction to stack up my Jock Show initially. And then going from there, I can uh, pretty much clean it up, no problem. Let me just hit this real quick. I want the plants to be here. I will go for Dragon there. I was just waiting to see if Foley would actually walk this way. He didn't, so I'm just going to get to finish it off now. It's no problem. Finish him off. Follow that through. My Jock Show is now stacked, but I'm going to have to rotate back towards my team because they're dying. I should be able to use my Blood Hunt to get the Tom Kench here because I can clearly see where he's going to walk to. He's walking in this bush right here, for example. Very good for me. Smite him there so I don't have to deal with that. And then we'll rotate this way. If they can get him low enough, this should be free. Don't have to worry about recalling here. Blood Hunt, because currently they're pretty high health. They're not going to get him low super fast, so Blood Hunt is going to help me in this situation. Like using it on higher health. Put this cannon back to fear. And I really am trying to give him these kills, but I can't, man. They just don't hit them. I have so much gold. He gave me the upgrade, right? Yeah, that's big. Okay. I can zone that guy away, at least. I can save my Orn this way by just walking at them. They're never going to kill me here, I don't think. Oh, I wasted my ult, that's bad. Get my damage reduction going, I should be fine here. Come on. Perfect. <laughs> this is what I mean though, this is why I go Jock Show. Because it just makes me unkillable. Like, I can combine Jock Show with E cooldown and there's not a chance in hell they get me. 
I have to recall here. I have like way too much gold. This is an absorbent amount of gold right now. Let's get this and then I can insta buy this as well. I'm gonna get the thorn mill here because it's just gonna be the most effective to deal with uh, like bigger problems. Uh, magic resist I have plenty of. Obviously spirit visits is a good item on Warwick. Absolutely. But if you're going Jock Show, I actually prefer just going for the... Uh, don't take this. You already have a red buff, mate. You are drunk. You have half a red buff. This, <laughs> even still, even if she didn't have that red buff, it'd still be better on me because I have 24 kills. There is not a chance in hell he just thought that was actually a good move for her to take that. That is crazy. Oh, nope, we're going for this guy. I'm not starting Baron here. It's not happening. I'm going for the, the Z first. If I can clean anything up here, that'd be great for me. Huh? I think I lost the vision, didn't I? That flesh, though. Please just don't miss Orn. Oh, so he went a little too early there with his thing. I'm just going to smite him. It's fine. I have my damage reduction active here. Kind of... Keep hitting this guy with auto attacks. Run him down. Perfect. Cannon is very low, so I should be able to run at this Aphelios due to that with a lot of move speed here. Finish him off. Put my activation up for the damage reduction. I could just run through him. That kill force is annoying. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think I care too much about this turret right now. If I can just Q at him here, please. Damage reduction. I guess I can pop my shield as well. Why not? just absolutely chilling man way too much tankiness on my side i bet like the only thing i did for kills this game as well is just use my blood hunt just focus on the turret man this guy's holding the wave on purpose as long as the turret's dead we're happy this guy should die pretty quickly here beautiful 50 seconds on dragon which is going to take priority for me overdoing baron right now just going to take my recall I want to play for this dragon over anything else. Get the elixir of iron here and I'll move out of base. I can sell these boots for like a movement speed item if I want. I think a force of nature actually wouldn't be too bad. I think selling boots for force of nature here makes quite a bit of sense. You should get the move speed from that as well. Uh, but also the extra magic resist that I could use against like cannon, which is good for target damage. And then also against volley's damage as well has some uh, tom damage so it's definitely not a bad item here i can definitely go for that i can all i don't really want to replace boots with spirit visage because if i do that then i will not have the movement speed really i mean obviously i'm still gonna have my w but it's gonna be less ideal i'm gonna do dragon here i'm absolutely taking priority on this dragon soul if they do baron that's fine but i will finish this dragon soul off first i will try to avoid smiting it so i can have this ready for baron if they go for it which they should Really, they, I think they shoot after killing those two. That's going to be their best chance right now. I'm not going to smite this, and we're just going to run up the Baron. Ooh, that's very tempting blood hunt, isn't it? Please. Did it to kick in. Yes, it kicks in because I hit him. Perfect. Nice. He needs to hit him, even if they're low like that. That He, he has to hit him first. Jump at this guy with, like, a colossal dash due to the amount of move speed I gained. Uh, yeah, we can just tear him here. It's good. I didn't hit him. I missed him on like one range, but it's still plenty to actually close the distance. It's fine. Now we just finish off Baron. I mean, jungler is dead, so yeah, there's no point. Like, there is no reason to look for anything here. We can just finish this off. If I miss the smite on this, I'm just going to be bad at the game, basically. That would be my bad. Uh, he tried. It. I respected the attempt, man. Like, I really respect the attempt there. I respect it a lot. I feel like it's just a good choice to recall right now. My team is also recalling, so I might as well take this opportunity to do the last thing I mentioned and replace this and buy a new potion. I still have a good amount of movement speed, right? It's still going to depend on my me getting my blood hunt. Uh, blood hound. Jesus Christ. Blood hunt uh, for the movement speed increase because I'm a bit slow now due to not having tier 2 boots. But it is fine because in team fights I will have the move speed from this, which is going to be fine. And if I get the blood hunt... And it's completely fine here too. Because as you can see, I'm, they're, they're getting low. I'm getting like 600 move speed anyway without boots, so it's not a big deal. 
should be able to finish this pretty easily. My team already has this forward. Oh, I just lost my movement speed. Okay, that's that's kind of unfortunate. It just turned into a big circle there for a second, and then it just lost my movement speed right away. Finish that off, and then finish this guy off. And perfect. That's that for yeah. Move sailing with the blood hunt, honestly. Really is. People disrespect it so much in this elo bracket that you can really abuse it to your advantage. Yeah, there we go. That is it for the first game. Uh, I will see you guys in the uh, end game stats for this one, I suppose. All right. So for the end game stats on this one, I ended up doing forty six point four k damage, which is a lot. Orn did a lot actually. Thirty point eight on Orn, really. Wow. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I'm not gonna lie. Play at uh, true damage here at 2400. We have damage to objectives at 56.2. Trying to keep this up as much as possible, like focusing on dragons and rift heralds whenever they spawned, is always a good tactic and something I would recommend. So that is definitely not bad. Healing done at 27.5, really good. Uh, damage taken another 36 ish, which is very nice as well. And then we have the self mitigated, which is going to be 63.7. So it took like a roughly 100k damage, a little bit more. Uh, which is really nice and then obviously with dealing the most damage by far as well is really good gold earned at 21.6 i ended up being an absolute maxed out build here so that's yeah <laughs> there i guess a lethal tempo very nice uptime we have healing from triumph 760 extra gold from that as well tenacity to help with some cc stuff uh, last stand i'd rather have last stand on the warrior than go for a uh the Graf, for example, because the last stand synergizes really well with your kit, but also it's just better in general when it comes to closer fights, especially early game, because the more damage you do in those situations, the more relevant it's going to be. And I don't really care if I overkill somebody by like 50 damage because of Coup de Gras, right? Like I'm already going to kill him and that extra damage is not going to matter compared to how valuable last stand will be. And we have conditioning here, which synergizes really well with Jock Show and Stoneplate. And revitalize here for additional healing and shielding, which then obviously shielding works with stone plate, and the healing is just based with war kit. Uh, so yeah, that is it for game number one. I'll see you guys in game number two. Alright, time for game number two. Playing Warwick, of course, into a Hecarim here, which should be a fine matchup for me, really. Damage reduction to deal with him. Um he's gonna like to melee range he can kite me a little with face rush but if i use my ult correctly that should be fine as well uh, but yeah i'm gonna clear towards top lane here initially see if i can maybe sneak in a nice kill on the scion early i think that'd be a pretty good opportunity but i won't be focusing on top lane for a whole lot this game getting the nice start here and potentially invading this guy on this blue as well is something i could look for uh, obviously fighting the hecarim early on like level uh, three ish Gonna be very beneficial for me as a warrior because i'm just gonna be much stronger than him so that should be good it all it's all gonna kind of depend on lane priority if i have enough priority to go for the gank i will go for the gank but if i don't then or i have a good opportunity for like a top gank i'll go for that instead but uh yeah we'll see uh, also another thing uh we just passed 50k subscribers not too long ago which is absolutely huge uh, but still 61 percent of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed so if you do enjoy my content, consider subscribing. It would be greatly appreciated. It's a very unfortunate AFK there from Bolt, which is going to delay me a bit. Okay, it seems that Hecarim started blue buff because this guy leashed for him. So he's going to clear, be clearing down here, most likely. He used a bit of mana there on Scion, so it's just something you can assume. If you're going to smite something on work, by the way, smite it early as well. I could even go very aggressive here and just do wolves and just take his red after and go for that invade. I don't know if it's going to be possible, especially with Pike AFK, question mark. He's standing all the way back in the lane. Oops, he's going to start to push here. So I feel like if I go for something, I should just go for his red here. Because I can go pretty aggressive with Warwick against the Hecarim for the most part. He's going to clear this. He's going to be done with his three topside camps, most likely. We see a potential bot lane opportunity here as well, actually. If it blood hunts, I will go for it. It does actually blood hunt. I can loop in from behind here. I can either decide to go for red right now or just loop in from behind, which I think is gonna work. Basically, just let the blood hunt guide you. So what I'm trying, like what you should be doing on Warwick for the most part. You, how? 
I was about to say, how is that working for you, man? What the heck? I should have queued, flash that. I wanted to queue when she, like, dashed through me. Like, try to go with her, if that makes sense. I, I don't know if I make this. I hope I make this. I'm going to try. I didn't make it. That's so close. There's Hecarim. It seems that my pike is AFK, so I can't go for this. Okay, fine. Fine. I'll leave. Yeah, obviously there. We saw a very good opportunity for a bot lane angle with the blood hunt. Uh, just let it guide you is really what you should be doing on work for the most part. But now I'm just going to focus on this scuttle here and then we're going to transition this through mid for the other scuttle. We're going to... He just warded here. So we're going to hug this wall to avoid the ward in that bush and we can go for the mid gank here. Can you land your W? Please? Oh, he doesn't have mana. I see. That's a bit of a problem. I didn't look at his mana bar. Oh, okay. I'm gonna am I gonna die here? A little bit. Ah uh, yeah, that's my bad. I I was just assuming I fear he presses his W thing, right? And puts the, the field up, but I didn't look at his mana pool, so that was 100 percent my bad. I assumed he could do something there to help me, and it just wasn't the case. Clear the scuttle here, I'm just gonna run up then, because this guy's positioned himself pretty badly oh my god okay this guy's level five with a colossal wave this will only work if i can just actually hit him under turret here which i think i might be able to do regardless of anything this will be fine because this allows mundo to clear the wave still so that's good being able to allow it to clear the wave with what he had there is very good for him he's losing pretty badly at the moment gonna lose if he stays now Sion is beating him up badly. Holy moly. All right. I hit the level up from this. We might be able to look for like a top place still. He's lo Sion is losing a lot of mana, so there's a potential option. But clearing my camps is going to be something I do want to do here. Okay. That, that being able to clear that wave is pretty big for my Mundo. So actually doing that's still good. Uh, they might be doing dragon here. I wouldn't be surprised if I go top like that. It is very respectable to go for the dragon. Please click your ward on dragon, my guy. I'm just gonna take the recall because I have a lot of gold. I have enough money to recall here for the Tiamat with the boots. That's what we're gonna do. And then we're just gonna see if we can make a play bolt. Maybe a blood hunt procs or something. Like one control ward for a potential dragon. If I can proc, uh, proc my blood hunt, then that would be good. I could potentially look for dragon here. I want to do Grom to hit level 5 though really soon here too. Something to prioritize as well the blood hunt that it might allow for a gank opportunity oh yeah he's dead he just walked into caitlin trap that's gonna cost me my blood hunt though but this guy should still be able to be taken there is no way she just oh, i'm gonna die she also hit me so i'm yep that's a her that sucks all right okay that the uh, q didn't go exactly the way i wanted it to like it delayed itself a bit because it wasn't in range there for a while so i didn't get the dash through as fast as i wanted to so i took an extra turret shot which was quite bad obviously not good but you have to eat please run the dragon i beg just please please man there's no way you're not serious right like okay maybe he took my tall bolt side cams or something Gonna have to check the dragon here. If he's doing it, it's gonna be very depressing that Pike did that. My Pike just absolutely hard trolled me. Like not even not even memeing. He absolutely hard trolled me. That's unbelievable. It's a one kill. Smite, thank you for hitting it, Samira. I appreciate that. Be able to lethal tempo myself through this for the most part. Yep. Here, here. Oh, very good. Wow, I cannot believe Pike just ran Botlin after after I pinged him like 50 times like that. That's crazy. I mean, I still got there in time because Hecarim didn't get assistance from his team either. And so he does a dragon pretty slow, especially considering he rushed into a sheet instead of rushing into some type of attack damage or something. He's gonna be pretty slow, not gonna be fast enough for that play, absolutely. So I knew that was gonna be the case, but yeah, Pike was. I don't know what Pike was doing. It is what it is. I'm going to clear my camps up here towards this Rift Herald. See if I can take that as well. 
I need to make sure I keep like clear at least some of my camps here, trying to hit level six for a potential fight on Rift to help making myself stronger is quite big here. Uh, he's, depending on if he's gonna clear this wave, it looks like he is, so I should just run top here instead of clearing my camps with Blood Hunt. This is gonna make me fast enough for this play. Because he is greeting now. He's overstaying here, basically. I'm going straight to top lane. The Simon was a big kill. He's worth a lot of experience, basically. Built him. Fine. Yeah, good. Oh, he almost killed Mundo there. That's crazy. I will take Scuttle and I'll look to see if I can do this Rift Herald. Blood on both. There's, not, there's no way I get there. They, they might actually get collapsed on by... By Hecarim? I think I'm just gonna do this. It's a bit of a risky move, I'm, I'll admit it. But I think this is the play here. Because I have a feeling Hecarim is bot side after that. He started blue buff as well, so clearing towards bot side would make a lot of sense. But it wouldn't make it too much sense for him to be here. Sion could rotate for this right away, but that's a tiny bit risky because I can't fight him. I think he goes for top wave. Yeah, he does. Okay, good. Get the objective. Anyway, anytime you can prioritize the objective, take the objective. Always big. I do not... I do not uh, blame Caitlyn for what she's typing, because from what I've seen so far from Pike, it's been... oof. <laughs> it's been uh, been oof. That's uh, yeah, all I can really say about that. I guess I could go top for a gank after doing these two camps. Pick up the red, go top gank. Maybe kill the Scion one more time. Could be, could be a move. We'll see, though. If I got any Blood Hunt procs, I'll go for those. I'm getting a lot of gold here. I really want to get to my Blade of the Rune King. That's like a big, big spike. It's got a little bit away, though. One kill would help me greatly with that. I also want to use the Herald before the 14 minute mark as well. So I want to keep that in mind. Uh, it is a Blood Hunt, but it's all the way on Bolt. I'm never going to make that one. Oh. Use the Herald on mid lane here, to be fair. I'm going to Herald mid here, just to get the plates out of the way. I should be able to finish turret here. Oh, you do no damage, do you, Victor? Okay, that sucks. That really sucks, actually. Should be okay? Yeah, I yeah. am. Hmm. Right. Uh, the fact that Pike or the fact that Rakan didn't die there is kind of crazy. He didn't get mid turret either. He should have just kept hitting it. He would have had enough time to put it low enough where the Herald would have killed uh, the Victor did, I think. It's okay though. I can clean up my bot side camps. I'll have enough money for the item that I want, so I'm going to be very strong off that. Portland's going to have to be super careful here because they're going to die soon if they stick like that for the turret. Still got like the mid turret very low. It might prompt the Victor to be able to finish turret. It would have been really nice to finish this because that's a lot of money right there. For both me and Victor. It would have been like a couple auto attack difference. I'm going to do this camp real, or the, the scuttle real quick. So I'll have the vision for this and then we can look after that. I definitely have to recall because I need to get my Blade of the Rune King. And that's going to make me a lot stronger. So that should be good. Finish this off, go mid. Very good. Very good to see that my Victor didn't troll there. You're a little bit too fast there. Hit the hook, please. Thank you. I wanted to time that as well as I could have. Nice. Very good. But it didn't kill Pike either. That's huge. Finish this off. I really want to push the third. Dragon is like a thing, but it's not really a thing because pushing third here gives me so much gold, especially if Pike recalls here. That's going to be huge for me. Cause that, I got solo gold on this turret now, which is which is insane. I'm gonna do this. Even if I die for this, I'll do this because this solo gold's worth a colossal amount of money. Come on. Boom. 625 gold plus there. I have 4.8k, I get that, but this play was like Blood Hunt. Let the Blood Hunt guide you, you know? Do whatever you want, like, but the Blood Hunt guides you. 
Yeah, that's very low on bot. Alright, okay, respect the team. Uh, against that team, I should go for Mercs, I think. Yes, Mercs makes sense. Good, and then we just go for the Titanic next. I'll take one control ward, and we just sprint all the way down. Go for Dragon. I could do blue, perhaps. A lot of move speed here. We're gonna lose mid, maybe? I almost getting really low. Running top here would be kind of troll. Like, it would be a move. You could definitely do it, because he'd get there very fast, but... Dragon is, like, a thing, right? I can use the Blood Hunt towards Sion to get the Swain here. The Swain, yes. Here, this guy. I'm not gonna use my ult for this, because I don't have to. And then we're just gonna go for Dragon now. The Blood Hunt towards the top side helped me to get to the Swain really quickly, which is nice there. I'm gonna do this. We're gonna place a Control Ward on Dragon. And we're just gonna start it, I think. I, I think, I think it doesn't matter. I think I can just start this up, no problem. This Hecarim is dead, right? What are they gonna do? I still have my ult as well, so if they are gonna fight me, I should be okay. I still have a Pike here, too. Who has ultimate, so... Not a dragon they can contest. Just build for safety, honestly, it's fine. Very good. Build for safety, with that, with that I mean I just ult the guarantee to kill as quickly as possible. With one minute on the Rift Herald, which I do want to play for, so I'm gonna try to clear until I get my Hydra, which is just one camp, it seems. Could do my wolves as well here, to be fair. I have a bit of time to spare. Uh, Blood Hunt guides me. Let's go. Actually finished him off. All right, respect it. I'm going to take the recall because I want to be at the Rift Herald in time. There is a red buff here, potentially, yes. But getting to the Rift Herald objective is going to be huge. And I can take this here as a recall, which is good. Also might be able to run top for this play here. They have to block him from ulting out, I think. If they want to get him. I mean... Blood Hunt's gonna give me a lot of movement speed here, so... If, even if they don't get him, which they should, it should be okay. So. I am here, boys. Clear them away. Save my team. Get ahead of him. Very nice. I was able to get there. The Blood Hunt, gu the Blood Hunt guided me once again. I'll finish off top turret here. Rift Rail's gonna be soon, but I, think, I feel like I can just do this top turret. I don't know if this is going to be doable, actually. I'll probably not. I'll just go for Herald. Fine. I don't want to be waiting with Herald too long. I definitely just want to make sure I get this uh, before they can actually contest it. Uh, a lot less turret damage potential than I thought we would have, honestly. That's Sion TP. Good to know. My priority is absolutely taking Herald here. I do not care what happens to this guy. Herald needs to be taken first. And after that, we'll see. Good, good, good. Perfect. We take Top Scuttle here as well. Make sure we keep our consistent clears going. I need to hit level 11 here as well. Good. Um, I guess I got Top here. I can just go for Sion. He's going to greet for third reg reg regardless, so... It's my, he probably ults out, I would imagine. Yeah, there he goes. Oh, he's going to block him. My boy. Hear him out of that one. I'm gonna ult this guy real quick, because Sion can't block that. Really? You through. This guy doesn't finish me, there's no way. He doesn't have ult anymore, so... No! I'm gonna die. Oh, uh, please! Oh, uh, damn, I was hoping Rakan would hit me in time. Dude. I'm gonna be honest, in my head there, I thought the turret was dead. <laughs> Don't ask me why, I just thought the turret was dead, so I flashed forward, and the second I did that, I realized, wait a minute, I'm stupid. So, that's why, if you're wondering why I flashed forward, I didn't think the turret was there. So, I'm blind as hell. Yes, I get it, but... Oh well, it's okay. I don't... I mean, I lose a thousand gold, which goes to Sion, which is not great, because that would have... I, I think I would have preferred Rakan to actually clip me there. I probably should have ran into the Rakan, actually. Yeah, that would have been a better move. Giving Rakan a thousand gold is much better than giving Sion a thousand gold, so that would have been the better play. Had to compensate for the stupid error that I made by having this as an oversight. In my head, I was just like, I said earlier, like, we can kill Top Turret and then go for Rift Herald, and I just kind of associated with that that the Top Turret would have died anyway. So I was like, okay, this is down, and I just 
yeah, it happens, I guess. Whoops, that's minus 1k gold. I mean, yeah, not technically, but I give a thousand gold to Sion, which is quite large for him, obviously. I can deal with him pretty well, though, still. He, he can never really kill me in a 1v1. It's a kind of a fair 1v1. And I'll just try to focus on this dragon. Go for blue here. Ooh. He's looking very spicy. Let's go. In the wave, it's fine. I want to go for Bolt Scuttle slash Samira here. This guy is looking very tempting right now. So anyone who walks out of position like this is very tempting. Let's go Blood Hunt. Should be able to catch catch up to her very easily here. Should be it. Good. Two instantly. I didn't really want to smite her, but I also don't want her to get away. I have an extra smite ready to go for Dragon here, so it should be fine. I just... Based my W position off where she was going to walk. She had vision over me, so it was a little tricky, I guess. But... Oh, boy. Oh, I'm trolling. I'm not paying attention. I focused on the top side, top side situation. I should herald mid here. So I'm going to have to herald something. And heralding mid here makes sense, because it's going to break this turret, at least. I know dragon's a thing, but if I do dragon there, I'm never going to get a good herald opportunity anymore. So it'd be kind of a waste to do that. If I can get this to hit this turret and then bounce once, that's going to be quite big. I just needed to bounce once. Okay, we're happy. I don't care about anything else. Don't care about this camp either. I want this dragon as fast as possible. Hit that. Thank you. Didn't even have to say anything. That's beautiful. The best play is here to just go for dragon. I need them to focus this. Okay, if they're not going to focus it, I'm going to have to help my team. Damage reduction. Fear. Build him. Finish him off. I had to smite for that, though, which is not too great, but... Wait, that didn't fear? Oh, I'm dead. I'm straight up dead now. Oh, that didn't fear him? Really? Man. He Wait. Wow, he has teleport, never used it. I see, that sucks. I think we should have focused the dragon. Like, straight up. Just burst that thing down, should have been fine. But, yeah. yeah. I took a lot of damage there. If Moonov would have teleported, that would have been an easy fight win. I don't know if I could have played that in a different manner. I thought my fear was going to connect to them there, which it may have just been out of range, which sucks. But yeah, Fair enough. Horn mill, I see. I think I may I hit him too much then. Eh, yeah. I need to get a force of nature. Force of nature is insanely good against both Sion and Swain, so I have to get that as my next item. I'm gonna get this first though, I suppose. But enough for the Negatron, I would buy that. But the damage over time from all of this is all magic damage, basically. Like most of this is magic damage. So actually building force of nature is huge, and it's also really good against Swain damage, of course. So this is gonna reduce the damage output from them in by an insane amount. I should be able to become very, very tanky. Very, very quickly. Oh boy. Is he gonna get this? And I tried. Caitlyn should have ran. <laughs> there is no way Mundo typed that. He should have teleported. The if, he, if he's talking about a dragon play, he should have just teleported the dragon. I don't know what he's talking about here necessarily, but... Focus this guy down. He's worth quite a bit of money. And this guy should be a blood hunt very easily for me. To kill. I don't think the Scion can do much against me, really. I've bladed Rune King as well. Focus the Akram instead, because he's squishier. Dudes. Alright, fine. Whatever. 
Dudes, please walk away. Don't greet. I beg of you. You're gonna you're gonna die here. I'm gonna do. Gonna, I'm gonna queue this because I can heal off this back to full HP. Could be nice. Should be a free kill, right? Surely. Oh, that shouldn't kill me. Okay. Whew. That was a little sketch. That that was looking a little close there. I'm very tanky, so tanking, being able to tank like that's pretty easy for me. Do that for HP. Here, this guy. That swing hit's gonna suck. You hit the Caitlyn with that? Really? I feel like that was... That shouldn't have hit. I really feel like that shouldn't have hit, but okay. Kinda sucks. Yeah, that turret came in close there for the enemy team. Very clutch. Build him here. Get as many things as possible before that. Dude, just thank you. Somebody cleaned it up. Holy moly. Bless. Get fight the, get fight the lost hit and we Baron. No, I can't Baron here actually. Never mind. I have to recall here because I have 3.4k gold. I don't have smite, so Baron is not an option. We're going to go for Force of Nature here and I'm just going to go for this now. I am not taking um, Stone Plate in this game. I mean, I could. But with how strong Force of Nature is of a tank item here, I have to take this. And then also Healing Reduction is quite strong against that team, so I have to go to Thorn Mill as well. Because Healing Reduction is good against Samira, Swain, this guy has Radiant. And so it's all, and Hecarim has a lot of healing as well, so it's just way too good to get the combination of those two. It's just adaptable tank items after your Jock Show, really, and these are the two best ones for this game. Are they gonna Dragon here? Or, or Baron, sorry, surely not. No, okay, Hecarim is what we're chilling. Uh, clean up some of these camps here and see if I can get a blood hunt passive on something. Go mid. If they got somebody low enough for the blood hunt, that would be good. It's got a good poke damage here, and it's definitely not bad him should be good i'm very tanky so oh he's not dead you're kidding okay no that hacker mill was disgusting on, for me and them it sucks for me really badly there's the 80 carry off he gets the support beautiful and we just focus silent i guess make sure i hold my q even slightly there to not get hit by the cc and i could just follow this through because i'm basically unkillable anyway the way I've built this so far makes me unkillable, but like this. Uh, just Baron. Come. It's just Warwick things, right? Like, at a certain point, there is nothing they can do against you. Literally nothing. I can tank this for a long time. It should be able to be fine with auto attacks from a distance. I'm not gonna have Smite for this. Ooh, Hecker might be fast enough here, actually. That would be bad. I don't know if we have the DPS for this. Oh, please, Hecarim, don't make this. I beg. Especially with the delays here. This is looking very scary. I'm not going to smite here now. We need to get the dragon ASAP. I don't know if I can make that. Let's take this. Let's take that. Good. We would sprint towards dragon. Perfect. They didn't do dragon as well. It could have been scary, man. Like, no, not having Smite there against Hecarim, who can run at us really quickly, that could have been a problem. But, I, like, with the way I've built, I'm gonna thank so much, like, thank so much damage. There's nothing they can do. I think I'm good now. Formula for healing reduction as well. I have the potential to sell my boots, too, if I need to. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna ult that for sure, because it's just an 80 carry kill. Perfect. 50 second ult cooldown is nothing, anyway. No, wait, whoa. I smited the pike instead of smiting the dragon because he was standing inside of it. That could have been bad. Last that we got that one. That would have been real bad. I would have been so sad about that one. All right. I mean, kills are kills. It's fine. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Let's. I'm going to take the red buff here. Perfect. Level up that as well. I want to prioritize this bot turret here worth a lot of gold because we have the we also have the opening for it right here so this is going to be a good opportunity like diving mid against this like a uh, uh, scion and a swain who's going to be very difficult to kill it's not something i'm really looking for 
I just wanna like get a free push if I can. If there's a blood hunt, I'll react if it has to be done, but I prefer pushing turrets right now. Caitlyn should do the same. Caitlyn's trolling me but quite a bit here. I mean, I can tank this turret forever. It doesn't really matter. Like, I'm way too tanky. As you can see, like, I really don't care that much. I just need my Caitlyn to do something. You trap him? Hear him? Uh, Caitlyn is pulling, literally. Like, there's nothing else I have to say about that. Caitlyn could have killed that guy like five times over if you hit him. There's damage reduction. I really don't care about any turrets here, honestly. <laughs> Look at me, man. I, I just tank turrets. I do not care. This is the point where we got to. Uh, it's fine. We won the game. It's all good. Not bad at all. All right, cool. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If did, make sure to hit the like button below. And I'll see you guys in the end game stats, actually. Okay, so for the end game stats here. I ended up doing 51k damage, which is the most by a good margin. Oh. Mundo did nothing. Caitlyn neither. I mean, Victor did a good amount. That's not bad at all. Very good. Uh, true damage at 4200 here. Damage to objectives at 50k. Very solid. Uh, healing done at 31.6. Damage taken at another 46 there. And then we have the big self-mitigated damage at another 70k on top of that. So I took like 100 and... I got 116k damage or something like that with also doing like by far the most here at 51k as well which is huge and gold earned at 21k here for the runes lethal tempo very nice uptime good healing from this with gold tenacity for cc reduction lost stand for 1200 bonus damage nearly which is a lot this matters a lot in close fights which obviously warwick is one of those champs that really wants to be in close fights low hp fights are great for him any additional damage you can get is the best option there. Conditioning, stacks with Jock Show quite well. Didn't have room for Stone Plate this game because of how good both of these items were, but if the Magic Resist item isn't like clearly good, like Force of Nature, like clearly just the best option, then Stone Plate's also really good, of course, as we saw in the first game. Revitalize for 33 bonus healing and 200 shielding, which obviously is not going to be a whole lot. Still works a little bit with your pet, but uh, if you go stone plate, the shielding on this goes up significantly. But still, bonus healing is great on Warwick, so yeah. Uh, that is it for Warwick. I, uh, well, I upload daily, so be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.